Prior to the geothermal war, we were quite dependent upon fossil fuels, uh, natural gas, coal, fire from the grid, in order to power what we do here. But now we've got geothermal war, that helps us to reduce our dependency upon fossil fuels. The project started 15 months ago and we've been up and running now for about three weeks. The city received uh, funding which contributed to about half the cost of the project. We had 700,000 come from Department of Sport and Recreation. 947,000 that was contributed by Department of Industry, Innovation and Science. Really was probably the, the catalyst to make sure this was a viable project for the city. It's a, it's a fairly complex um, system when you get to the nitty gritty of it. I've certainly learnt a lot um, through the process, but operating the system itself is, is fairly straightforward. It's all controlled through our building management system, so there's all, it's basically all automated. It's more of a matter of us just monitoring and checking temperatures um, on an ongoing basis. The geothermal bore at the Riverton Leisureplex is a great example of the use of renewable power. A geothermal bore uses heat from underground water to provide heating to the Leisureplex pools, reducing the ecological footprint the heated water is extracted from an aquifer over one kilometre below the ground and pumped into the plant room where a sophisticated heat exchange system uses the heat to warm the pool and the pool air. The pool water and the bore water do not mix and there is hardly any water lost from the aquifer. When the heated water from the aquifer has passed through the heat exchange unit, it's returned underground to a depth of approximately 800 metres to recharge the aquifer. It's anticipated at approximately $170,000 savings per annum. It makes it more affordable um, for the city to, to run and maintain the facilities, which means we can keep the prices um, more affordable for the community. Approximately 12 months ago, we had a 30 kilowatt solar system installed on the roof at the Riverton Leisureplex, and that's helping us to reduce our monthly consumption figures and also our monthly utility cost for electricity. We get an outstanding service from the lifeguards, the cleaners, the caterers, the instructors, the all sorts of people and many others. I fail to name them, you know, but uh, there's always a smile. It's always a pleasant experience to be here. And uh, this parcel of time that uh, I spend at this particular uh, leisure centre is very precious to me and it is the best part of my day. It's not like you're going to get to do this too often, but of course the city, this is their second geothermal ball in the last three years. So those lessons will no doubt be asked upon us through industry partners when they look to do their balls in the future. I sometimes meet with other sustainability officers and everyone. The sustainability officer is often talking about having a lot of fights or battles to make this stuff happen and they're having to drive initiatives like this. I'm not having to drive initiatives like this in the city of Canning. It's, it's kind of, it's core business. It's being done by a whole lot of different people. It's becoming mainstream and everyday. 